Hello, everyone. I'm Long Ruizhe with Xinhua News Agency. I'm in Baijitan National Nature Reserve in Lingwu City, Ningxia Hui Autonomous Region in northwest China. Now I'm standing on the edge of the Mao Wusu Desert. Look, you can see the desert from here. However, in the past, this reserve didn't even exist. It was just a, a, a sandy scrap of desert land and Sandstorms were a frequent headache, leaving the local homes submerged in sand. So this harsh times inspired local ditty that there are no birds in the sky, no grass on the ground, yellow sand swirls in the sky, and the sand dunes stand higher than a house. And a wind once a year blows from spring to winter. But the people here, battered by sandstorms, would not be defeated by the desert. In 1953, they decided to act against the desert invasion. In 1953, the Bai Jitan Control Forest Farm, which is the predecessor of today's reserve, was formally established. So over just a few decades, the generations of sand control workers have transformed this area. They built a green, a green barrier along the uh, southwestern edge of the Mao Wusu Desert. So, Look at over there now. The sandy dunes are now green hills, and the barren desert is an oasis. So that's with some of the sand control workers to know to find out more. Now I would like to introduce you to Wang Xingdong, the director of the Baijitan National Nature Reserve Administration. Nice to meet you, Mr. Wang. So today I have I, I have a few questions for you. What is the hardest thing in the process of sand control efforts? So there are two major problems. First is lack of water. Lack of water makes the plants hard to survive. And secondly, the, the second biggest problem is the wind. The strong winds makes the sandy dunes drift and swirls with the wind all, all the time, making it hard for the plants to survive. With the efforts of the three generations of sand control workers in Bai Jitan, mm. they've developed several effective methods to, uh, f to control the desertification and the forestation. As we have been introduced, They've completed sand control and the forestation of about 42,000 hectares and control nearly uh, 66,667 hectares of drift sand and have built a green barrier with a length of 61 kilometers from south to north and about 40 kilometers from east to west. They were cumulatively controlled like about 16,667 hectares of sand and making the desert retreat 20 kilometers from the edge of the Yellow River, the farmlands, and the cities. The Bai Jitan National Nature Reserve now has a vegetation coverage rate of over 40.6 percent. The plants such as reeds, holly, and caragona take root, creating habitat that attract wildlife such as hares, foxes, and pheasants. So the once barren desert forbidden zone of life now is actually bursting with life. Now let's talk to Mr. Wan to know more about this. Hello, Mr. Wan. We'd like to know that what has sand control benefited by Jitan's environmental restoration? Nama so with the, green, with the growth of greenery, biomass, and food storage in the protected area, uh, some insects, small insects and birds, have returned to this once desert land. 
and thus some bigger animals have also returned. And now the ecological and food link is becoming more and more complete. Just as what have uh, what have been introduced, there are 129 animal species and 311 plant species in the protected area, and this this numbers mm. is a strong evidence of what have been done by the generation of sand control workers of Bai Jitan. So uh, next, we have another question for you: Is that can you introduce some of other material effects? Uh, material benefits brought by sand control in Bai Jitan. 就是您介绍一下这个生物生态修复的这个成效。就是二零一八年啊，我们聘请了第三方开展了自然保护区啊生态效益呃评估。那么据评估啊表明啊，保护区呢现在在保土、固碳、饲养、生物多样性等方面，价值呢每年能产生十五点。So we like hired a third-party consulting company to monitor and evaluate the forest ecosystem value co uh, caused by the sand control efforts in Bai Jitan, and the conclusion is that the forest ecosystem value produced by the sand control efforts in Bai Jitan. It's worth 1.588 billion yuan. That was a big amount. We can like make more, uh, more achievements in the carbon in in the carbon fixation and carbon trade in the future. This will help to make a better and greener future for the cities around. Controlling desertification and regreening is a heavy task almost beyond imagination. Another local saying goes, growing a tree in the desert is even harder than bringing up a child. Not only does it require tenacity, bravery, and persistence, but also science. For decades, generations of sand workers have worked hard to perfect this process and established, uh, as an established set a set of proven and practical sand control methods and approaches. Perhaps Mr. Wang can tell us more. So Mr. Wang, in this years, like uh, to, grow, uh, to grow greenery in the desert that lacks water and has strong wind, what methods have we used? And uh, do we have any like good experiences to share? So we should say that we have through the sand generation of sand exploration, we have compiled a more advanced technique, which is what we are now doing. 推广的一加四菌种造林技术，那么一呢就是草房格固定流沙，那么四呢就是我们改变了过去啊雨季造林、成活靠天这种被动模式啊，采取这种雨季造林，这个一般呢采取的是雪波，还有营养带、营养带造林，还有这个人工模拟飞波、春秋之苗。呃，作为补充，这样呢，就是、说克服了风湿、沙霾这些不利因素影响，延长了造林季节。嗯 ，OK。So based on the fact that the rainfall in Ningxia is rather is rather like little, <coughs>、uh, with the efforts of the three generations of sand workers in Bai Jitan, like they are now focusing on promoting the One plus four sand control technology. That is, with the、uh, grass grid sand fixation technology as the core, and combining the cooperation of the advanced and applicable technologies of pond planting in rainy seasons, and and nutrient back afforestation, and sowing grass seeds, and pl、uh, and planting seedlings in autumn and winter, so they can overcome the adverse factors of of strong wind erosion. And sand burial and rot, and、uh, lack of precipitation. Now they are trying their best to keep the plants alive as long as they've been planted onto the ground. Des desert control and deforestation must rely on science instead of blind efforts. In recent years, they have invested a lot、uh, in the selection of sand control plant species, and and they've、uh, and they've summed up and established a sand control. 
many sand control models and the exploration of sand control technologies. So they've been cooperating with many universities and research institutions such as uh, such as Beijing Forestry University and Ningxia University and have signed various uh, various scientific research cooperation agreements and carried out a large number of technical researches. So regarding the relationship between the local community and the desert, the desertification control has helped to improve lives here, bringing vitality and sustainability to this project. Now, Baijitan is not only retaining its population. The young generation is now excited with the new opportunities conservation has brought. My next chat is with Mr. Yang Yugang, the director of Daquan Management Center of Baijitan National Nature Reserve, to find out more about how, uh, about how the industries help the local community. Now let's go and find him. So hello, Mr. Yang. We'd like to know what distinct industries have emerged as a result of the desert transformation. We have four industries: the cement industry, the textile industry, the livestock industry, and the agricultural industry. The cement industry and the livestock industry have been growing for four decades. Four industries. So as we have been introduced, they've developed four pillar industries. First, agriculture. They set up economical fruit forests, and second, they set up vegetable greenhouses to grow vegetables. Third, they cultivated cows and set up a thousand cow dairy farm. And last but not least, they established companies to cultivate people's ecological and cultural、uh, environments. This innovative project, which began in 1953 when the Chinese Academy of Sciences set up a sand control station here. Is still going strong today, more than 60 years later. The persistence of three generations of Baijitan people has pushed the sand control project forward, turning the desert into an oasis. They created a sustainable development system for the sand industry. Every year, Baijitan's major technology, scientific model, and successful mechanism of scientific and comprehensive sand control have attracted many local and international visitors. They will continue to research and practice themes linked to carbon emissions and carbon sink trade in the future. Let's wait and see. That's all for today's live. Thank you for tuning in, and see you next time.